guys, this is Lenny the Schnoodle. Lenny is going to get a natural haircut today. Uh, she said she wanted a good haircut, but she wants him to look natural like he does. And she doesn't want him trimmed close around the eyes. She wants to keep kind of that natural fan around the eyes and basically make him look like he does, only give him a good haircut. So let's get busy. For his bath, I'm going to use iGroom Prebiotic Shampoo and Conditioner. You tired? Huh? Is you tired? Did you have a long day? Oh, poor boy. It's very important to condition your dogs for the health of the coat and skin, as well as reducing static and making that coat easier to brush and comb. Adds shine to the coat. I condition most every single dog I work on. I use a good quality ear cleansing solution in the ears. This helps to dry up any moisture that might have gotten into the ears, loosens up earwax, and helps to remove debris. Now we're going to wrap them up in a nice warm towel and head off to the drying table. When I blow dry the legs, I'm going to be using an Artero Flexible Slicker Brush, the Chris Christensen Buttercomb number 004, the Diane Comb for the face. I'll also be doing the nails with the Artero Nail Clippers and the Maca Art Nail Grinding Tool while he is drying. I'm going to be very strategic about the way that I dry Lenny's hair. I want to retain curl in the coat, so using the dryer and my wide tooth comb, I'm going to comb through the trunk of the body in a terrier pattern. I'm also going to comb through the top of the head and the ears. This will remove any tangles out of the coat and allow it to dry naturally. Good boy. Now fluff drying the legs, just going to bring all this up and separate it and fluff it out. I'm also going to blow dry the tail and the muzzle. I use the Diane comb on the face, the dogs appreciate that. He's just such a handsome boy, I love keeping the natural look. all blow dried. We've kept all the curl on the head, the ears, and the trunk of the body. We've blow dried the legs. And now we're going to attempt to give him a very natural looking haircut. One of the goals is to keep all the hair on top of his nose and keep his eyelashes. Using the Heininger Opal Clipper with a 40 blade, I am going to trim the pads of his feet. Oh, 
I'll repeat this on all four feet. Using the Artero Spectra Clipper set on a tin blade, I'm going to trim his belly. Using a very light touch. Using a Schoenbau Digital Clipper with a 7F blade, I am going to clean up under his tail with a light pick, pick, pick action. He seems to be the type to me that might be quite sensitive under here, so I'm going very light. Using the Paw Brothers brush with the plastic tips on the tines, I'm going to brush down all the hair off the bottom of his feet, pulling some up between his toes. And with my Artero Fusion Curvy Shears, I'm going to trim off anything that falls below the pads. Being very careful not to nick the pads of the foot with the shears. Good boy. We'll repeat this on all four feet. Now using my Zolita Mirage shears, eight and a half inch and the Utsumi Superfine Comb, along with the Artero Static Spray. We're gonna scissor up his legs. We're not gonna take off very much though, because the pet parent likes the look that he has now. growing the front of the leg to come up to the last rib. So I want to fill in this little gap here with hair over the next couple of grooms. Once that's done, I can bring in this angulation tighter. Until then, we're leaving more hair on the back of the leg. Otherwise, he'll look too short. The hair will look too short. So. We're also going to grow more hair down and through here. So right about from the elbow through here and then through here, we're going to fill in all these areas with hair. That way he won't look so lanky. He'll look a lot fluffier without having a whole lot more hair. These tall, lanky, lean dogs need quite a bit more hair in key areas in order to not look so leggy. So we're just gonna bring it all down. We're doodling a schnoodle. I've always wanted to doodle a schnoodle.
Very sweet boy. Good boy. We need to get the hair off the top of the eyelashes without making him look like a poodle and exposing his eyes. To do that, I'm going to use the Artero Fusion Curvy Shears and I am going to get the shear between the eyelash and the top knot and snip. side. He's got him some pretty eyelashes, doesn't he? Look at those things. All right, let's do this side. Don't want to comb the curl out of his top knot, so I'm being very careful to just pick, pick, pick this hair down, which is okay because we're trying to keep a natural look, so we don't want it over stylized or trimmed anyway. Just want to get it so that the so that he can see. Using my Chris Christensen face comb number 006. It's a face comb. We're gonna fan this hair up in front of his eyes. And we are just going to very lightly trim between the fan and the eye. There is a way to trim around these eyes and still keep a fan. Now, a great many people like the softness of the look around the eyes without it being overly trimmed right in here. So when I talk about a fan in front of the eyes, I'm talking about this hair right here so that it's not clippered looking. It's not scooped out. Just going to mist a little bit of conditioner up here and scrunch. Then we're gonna pick it up with our fingers and trim anything that's out of place. like controlled chaos or perfect imperfection as I call it and just round up this mustache good boy
such a handsome dude. I'm gonna shorten up these ears. Round up the bottom of the jaw, matching it to the ears. Combing the hair forward, trimming off anything that falls past the nose. Now we're just going to scissor up the legs and even everything up. I really love the curly look in the coat. It looks so natural and pretty. Yes, you're a good boy. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's a cute little man. He's a cute little man. Well, there we have it. A doodled schnoodle. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. Feel free to share this video wherever you can. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Be sure to be on the lookout for our new website, howtogroomdogs.com. It is live now, and we will be adding material to it every week. Bye, guys.